Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can highlight certain areas in a line chart. For example, here we have a chart for the inbound call strength, which is for the month of December 2024, and we have a daily pattern. But we see that this pattern rises, then it falls, then it rises and falls and so on. So there must be a specific reason why we have this. When we point on this chart, we see that on Saturday and Sundays, we have less number of inbound calls, whereas on the weekdays, we have a higher number. So in order to facilitate the user to understand this chart more quickly, we are going to highlight this area in light gray. So it becomes visible at the first sight. So let's get started. Here we have a data set, which is a simple sales data. I just created it randomly and it's available in the description in case you need it. We have got the date, we've got the orders and we've got the sales. So before we get started, I'll just set the date in the short date form. And then we've got the dim calendar table that I created using the DAX formula that is also available in the starter file for this video. And then we have created uh, a few measures. One is the total sales, which is like the sum of the sales. And the other one is the total orders, sum of the orders. Let's switch to the report view and start building the report. So first things first, I will bring a filter for the month year. That should be fine. And then I will switch it to a drop down. That way we can select only one month or more than one month. And then we are going to bring a line and stacked column chart. Then what we are going to do is we are going to bring in the date in the x-axis. And let's say we put total orders in the line y-axis. So it's a bit crazy here because we have two years of data and it's plotting a daily data. So we are going to select a particular month, let's say May 2024. And we have something like this we'll give it a quick cleanup the way i clean it up is usually i remove the grid lines and i like the lines in the smoother form so it should be smooth like this it's better so we've got the line chart now and it is plotting from the first of may till the 31st of may but this pattern is slightly irregular so i'll choose some other month for demonstration purpose I'll choose March 2023, which looks a bit better. Okay, now we have to create just one measure and our work should be done. So we can create a measure here. And what we're going to write is, let's say, color underscore weekend bar, or we can call them whatever you want to call it. And we're going to say if the weekday of the selected value because there is one value on the day axis right and we're going to say the dim underscore calendar date because we have date on the x-axis two because we want to start on monday and we are going to end on sunday that is saturday is day number six of the week and sunday is day number seven of the week and then we're going to say if it's greater than five, that means it's either six or seven. Then put a one. Otherwise, put a blank, not zero, but blank. OK, and that should be it. We are missing a parenthesis here. That's it. OK, then we bring this in the column Y axis here. What we're going to do is go to the columns. First, select a very light color like this and even set its transparency to as light as you want. For example, this should be fine enough or maybe just 260. And then you have to go to the columns and remove the space between categories like this. So now we've got this nice shaded area for the weekends. We can also remove and adjust the axis here so i'm going to select the secondary y-axis i'm going to turn it off from here okay and the y-axis i'm going to turn off its values and the title as well and then we are going to remove the legend 
you can even adjust the title whatever you want to call it total orders by date okay but there is one small thing that is left for example if i bring my mouse pointer here i see that the date is here and the total orders are here but once i bring my mouse pointer here i see the date and total orders and here it shows me date color underscore weekend bar this is something that i would not like as a user to see so there's a small trick to remove this as well before that i would also maybe i'll just put it like weekend something like this what we are going to do now is to create a separate tooltip page we'll place a text box there and then we'll display the tooltip there so we create a new page we go to the canvas settings we set it as tooltip and then we are going to place a text box something like this then we're going to write date a couple of tabs and then we are going to create a measure i'm going to name this measure as tooltip underscore date so i can know it in the future what it's being used for and then i will write format and selected value because there will be only one selected value in the x-axis because i'm using date in my x-axis so i'm going to write dim underscore calendar date i'm going to select a specific format for the date that would be let's say month date year and that's it then i'll bring that measure here to tip underscore date that's the one and we save it then we are going to write total total orders and a tab so maybe i'll give a tab here as well that should be fine yep and then i'm going to add another one which is total orders this is the one yeah okay and then we are going to color this let's say in our theme color and this one also in our theme color right we come here and we are going to change the tooltip for this one report page and page two and now what we see we see the date and the total orders so there's a small thing that we have to do we have to adjust the size of this tooltip so what we will do is first we will adjust the size of this text box which is around let's say 50 and then we're going to go to uh, go to the canvas settings and custom and then we put it to 50. similarly we are going to reduce the size of so this is 213 and we are going to go to the canvas settings let's say we put it to 230 yeah and this looks fine and now we go to page one and we are able to see that last step i think we can simply rename it whatever we want and we can hide it that's it we can use this method to highlight as many areas as we want so let's take another quick example for example we want to take the monthly data for the whole year and then we're going to highlight a couple of summer months let's say june and july so let's take this chart paste it here and i'll bring another filter here and this time i'm going to bring in the year so i just want to show you how we can highlight those months again it will be the same methodology we'll simply copy this and we are going to create another measure where we are going to say not weekday but the month and selected value now this one is 
So we're going to put or condition or and we say selected value of the date. Yeah, so month. In fact, that would be. So we're going to put or here or month of the selected value. Month of the selected value is equal to six or month of the selected value dim calendar date is equal to seven yeah then it's a one otherwise it's a blank we're going to put a comma and this one would be month bar month bar okay enter now we bring in this measure and now we can see that from the 1st of june till the 31st of july that is shaded so you can play around with it you can work with the dates you can work with the months you can highlight certain times for example there was a time of covid 19 when we had that um, difference in the data or difference in the trend you can highlight those and so on so it's very simple and you can go ahead and you can try different methods. Thank you for watching.